All right, folks. Here we go. We are now starting our adventure here with the Robinson Gap Coal Extra. This train may not seem insane now, being only 29 cars plus the engine, you know, weighing in at just under a thousand tons, just under 1400 feet. However, when we reach Bryson from here, where we are in Dillsboro, oh boy, is that going to change? Because, <laughs> well, it'll be time to make the longest train we have ever made that will be going to Robinson Gap coal mine. It is supposed to be just over 70 cars. I think it's supposed to be like 73. And it is supposed to be pretty darn long as well. In fact, we have a Mikado staged in Bryson to lead us up the mountain. That's right, we will be doing a double header today because we want to be on the safe side when dealing with a train that is as long as the one that we will be dealing with here today. Alrighty, folks, we are in the 19 and we are heading to Bryson Yard and then up to Robinson Gap. We will be combining both the West Bryson Interchange coal cars as well as the Silva Interchange coal cars in order to make the longest possible train that we have made to date that will be going up to the Robinson Gap coal mine. It is supposed to be just over 70 cars. In fact, as a precaution, I have staged a 2A2 Mikado, one of the Mikados in Bryson to potentially help us up the hill because I have a feeling that this engine could make it. It could, it could drag all the cars up there. However, I don't know if I'd necessarily want to risk it because that's a lot of cars and that's a lot of weight. So this is either going to go extremely well or it's going to go extremely poorly. I sincerely hope that it at least goes well because we don't do double headers often here at the QNS. All right. In fact, we usually try to avoid it, but I feel like today for the sake of efficiency, we really don't have a choice. So we're going to head on up to Robin. Well, first to Bryson, then to Robinson Gap. And I'll see you all in Bryson, assuming nothing goes wrong. Alrighty, folks, we're moving into Bryson here. And we're getting a little bit of lag. And that's not a surprise. We have about 100 cars here, so... Just something we gotta put up with. But we'll be pulling in here and stopping. We'll disconnect the engine. And get it over to haul out the other string of hoppers that you can see there in front of us. So we'll be switching over to track two here and dealing with that. And then while we're also doing that, we're going to get the wonderful um, Mikado also on the front of our train here. And therefore we'll be well equipped to tackle the mountain up to the coal mine. And hopefully, fingers crossed, all will go well. That's the hope at least. That's the plan, at least. So we're going to see if we can make that happen here, folks. All right, we've come to a stop here. We're going to pull forward. And then we're going to back down onto this other cut of cars. We're also going to make sure the switch is thrown for the Mikado to join us. We're also going to make sure our headlight is off, because soon the Mikado will be taking the lead. As we back on to what is supposed to be 44, 
44, that's right, <laughs> 44 full hoppers that it will be going up the mountain, along with the 29 we brought with us. So, this is definitely going to be a haul. Um, we're definitely going to have to, we're going to play it by ear and see what happens. Um, I think we'll be okay, though. All right, we're hooked up. We'll start bleeding the air off. And we'll grab number 17, the trusty 17. We'll back it down onto the train here. We actually haven't used the 17 too much. We also haven't used the 18 too much. So I figured just for insurance sake, we are going to run a double header here. So we're going to see how well this goes. Um, and also when we get up there, we will likely do some switching and switch around and such in order to get the 17 actually dragging the H6 back down here uh, so it can be set off and out of the way. Though it's kind of out of the way now. So there is that. I will also say we'll probably have to back up these 44 hoppers, uh, mainly just so the Mikado here can clear the switch that we needed to clear. Jim had to reverse it too much. There we go. And finally, finally we have the return. The return of the Redding 6 to the, to the videos. It's been a while. We've been using other locomotives with other whistles and horns. But finally, finally, the eight, the Reading Six has returned. Okay, Kerchunk. A little bit of a spicy dunk, but oh well. And you release the consist. And we're gonna reverse slightly so we clear the switch. And now we're gonna pull forward past the switch and hook up to the rest of our train here as we struggle to get going under the fact that there's brakes on. There we go. This is actually making me very glad we have the two engines. Otherwise, um, <laughs> the air capacity of this train might not be what we need it to be. And just like that, though, we're going to be getting about 70 cars out of Bryson. So hopefully that helps with the lag a little bit. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, because as you can tell, uh, it's getting a little little slideshowy here. So um, I may need to dec decrease my settings down a little bit, though I really don't want to. But I guess in the end, if I have to, I might as well. All right. This is where switching with a bunch of cars gets tricky because we need to keep moving. And <laughs> the brakes work, which we're very grateful for. We are very grateful for the brakes working. However, um, <laughs> sometimes it gets a little tricky. Okay. We're going to start charging the air, though. We are hooked in. We're going we're gonna to put a set on just to make sure we stop moving around. All right. And we have, in total, 73 cars. Two locomotives. <laughs> All ready to go to Robinson Gap Coal Mine. Oh, boy. This is, this is going to be fun. This is definitely going to be fun. All right, we have a green signal. At least I hope we do. So, here we go. I'm not going to lie, this is kind of an impressive sight. Two engines powering out of here. <laughs> Luckily... 
I mean, it's only two, it's only just over 2,000 tons with the engines, so I'm not worried. In fact, the 210 two probably could have done it, but you always want a little bit of power in the bank if you need it. So why not stick a Mikado on the front? Just make sure our path is lined. It is good. And then it's lined. It should be lined all the way up here, which it is now. Line and blind. So we're good there. It looks like we're getting some more cars, mostly for West Bryson, which is fine. And yeah. Making our way out of town here. All right, we just blasted through Hemingway, so we're getting somewhere. We gotta keep the power on, though. Because we're getting into the steeper part of the hill here. We're gonna see how well this goes, because not only do we have to keep the power on, but we also have to start slowing down, because, well, we're going into a Larka Junction. So this gets a little tricky, where how much power is too much power, and how much power is not enough. So... You know, there's that. And we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. I, I'm impressed with, you know, how much these two engines have handled, how well these two engines have handled this train. Um, I knew it wouldn't be a hard train to handle weight wise. It's just, it's, it's big, it's a big train. The big train is here. All hail the big train. So, it, it's it's one of those things, you know. We we just gotta handle it correctly. Train handling, you know, is kind of in real life very important. In this game, less so, but it's still you know, it's still there. And. You know, we've managed to make it so far. And you know, the two the two eight two is handling it well. We got the Santa Fe behind us, the two ten two. I haven't felt like I've been lacking for power, which is good. You know. If I felt like I was lacking for power, that probably wouldn't have helped the situation. Like we're we're still doing about 22, 20, somewhere in there. Going into a Larka Junction here. So we're going to have to spin this train. And figure out how we're going to handle this. Because, well, now we got to reverse up into the mine. <laughs> and I don't think that mine track is going to handle all these cars all at once. It, it's one of those things where, you know, we, we just got to deal with what we got to deal with. And go from there. All right, we're, oh boy, we're, we're speeding up real quick. I guess I guess most of the train finally got on the downhill side of things. So we don't want to be going that quick. We're going to use that set to slow us down. And I'm going to have to put us on the rear here, which is all the way back in the cut. <laughs> just to give you an idea of just how long this train is. We're all the way back here. And the locomotive's all the way up here. So, we'll make this work. Right now, we're just going to coast to a coast a little bit, let this air, let the set bleed off slightly, and go from there. Oop. Sorry about that. Hit a button. All right, we're now on the Y. So I don't think I'm going to put any power on. We're we're using the grade. 
to kind of help us out here a little bit because we can do things that way. We don't really have to put any brake on. We can just use the grate to slow us down gradually, safely, because that's the advantage of having this branch all the way up here. And geez, we're having to go a long way up it. And luckily with the boat with both engines we have enough power that if we need need to go a little bit further we can which will be helpful so we'll make it work for the longest train we've taken up here it's actually going surprisingly well In fact, we're probably going to have to put a set on. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to go too far. All right, we've thrown that switch. Bail the set off. Put us in reverse. Wait for the set to bleed off. And then we'll be heading up to the mine. Uh, now, this is probably going to be the trickiest part of all this. One, because of this corner. I don't think this corner is more than a 15 mile an hour corner. But then also going up to the mine we have all that twisty so we can't go we can't really go above 15 and well <laughs> we might need to go above 15 um just so we have enough momentum because there's one part on this grade where it gets up to about 2.7 percent and so we're gonna have to deal with that uh, one thing i can do as we're making preparations here is make sure we are lined appropriately which we now are. Um, I'm gonna send, we have like two cars on that center track. So I think I'm gonna send most of these going that way. Yeah, just keep that center track clear. Let those cars trickle out because, well, we need to. So we, those cars need to get out of there at some point. And luckily, it looks like they're all going to Robinson, not Robinson, going all to West Bryson. So that'll be a nice, easy, easy little haul. All right, now that we're rolling, we're going to head on back. And I will join you uh, back when we're probably hitting the grade or if something goes, you know, slightly pear-shaped. All right, we're hitting the base of the grade, going up to the coal mine. Our engines are all the way still back up here. But we're doing a good coast. We don't have any power on. So coasting is going well for us at the moment. We're a little faster than I thought we would need to be. Um, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Going to have to start putting power on here a little bit. Just to keep us rolling. And then I start putting on more powers, more as this train hits the grade. There is a little downgrade out of the junction, but then it just immediately goes back up. So we're having to do some, some fun times here as we sneak all these cars up the mountain. You know, the front of our train is still in the Y and the back of our train is seeing, if you look off in the distance, you can kind of see the front, but <laughs> we're, we're making it. We're making it so far. Need to pour on a little bit more power because we're starting to slow down a little too much, but we're, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. And you know, if we're doing okay, we're doing okay. No sense to not be doing okay. And then there's the H6, currently out of service. Uh, we may drag that down to Bryce, and I don't think we'll do that in this episode, uh, but we just need to get it off of the mountain, I think, because unfortunately, it, that, that mod has an issue, and I, again, I firmly believe the mod authors are, are working on it as best they can. So we're going to be waiting on that fix to be forthcoming. 
and then when it is, we'll be happy. Uh, I know it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to work out bugs sometimes, especially uh, if you're not entirely sure what's causing it. So, you know, there's that. But hey, it, the mods here, I, I love that mod. It's a wonderful mod, um, and I and I hope we get more. All right, we're firmly, I believe we're firmly on the grade now. Yep. The engines are on the grade. The tail of the train's on the grade. So we're just gonna start modulating the throttle here to keep us rolling up through the coal mine. And keep us, just keep us going. So hopefully all goes well and we'll call this journey a success and we'll make a lot of money doing it. Um, luckily we don't have to worry about you know a loan payment here really soon we and even if we do the loan payments a thousand dollars um so there's a very good chance we'll be the the q s will be debt free here very shortly so that'll be pretty nice that will be pretty pretty darn nice because then we can just make pure profit and keep making money so you know, there's that. All right. All right, power off. A little bit heavy of a set. A little bit heavier of a set. We're probably gonna hit the end here. That's fine. Oh, no, we didn't. Perfect. We were perfect. There's all the money. There it is. All right, we're going to fully dump some air here. And then I'm going to cut the train. Probably, I think right here. So we're back down to 40 cars. And we're going to pull forward and probably dump most of them on the next track over, I think. That seems like the ideal thing to do. We only have one hopper left up here in the center, which will be nice uh, to get that all cleared out and cleared away. But we're going to roll forward a little bit. Okay. And we're going to shove the rest of them up on this track right here and then anything else we'll deal with when we get there okay we've delivered those cars how many oh okay <laughs> we are so close to delivering all of them <laughs> we are so close to delivering all of them and that one car has not been processed yet. Okay. Um, hmm. So we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the train here. And I think we're just gonna stack these six cars kind of right here in the middle. I know, I, I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with this one car, uh, but I guess we'll find out. So here's to hoping, but I really want this to be all kind of neat. I'm also a little worried about Robinson having enough parts to process all these cars. Uh, but I guess that's not my problem. That's uh, Robinson Gap's problem. So, you know, there's that at least. Oh. Game of inches. The game of inches. I like how it technically delivered that car. <laughs> but you may notice we have uh, almost six grand in the bank. So I was talking earlier about paying down the debt. Well, we're almost, we're almost ready here to pay down all but like four grand of the debt, which is going to be nice, you know. That's going to be a, a good thing. And we're going to 
go from there. Alrighty, so that's all there. I'm gonna set consist, set consist. Just to be on the safe side. And we're going to pull, pull this forward and set that consist as well. Alrighty. Now folks, we have made it to the coal mine with all 73 cars. And as our reward, we have six grand in the bank, which means we can now pay down six grand of debt, which means we only have four grand in debt, which hopefully means here in the next episode or two, we will have no debt at all. But until then, folks, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.